Hi everybody! Today's video is on how to blow dry your hair to get rid of the cowlick in your crown. Here. Is that you? Do you struggle with that? Mm -hmm. This thing? Let me show you how to control it right now. If you normally flip over to rough dry first and get some of the water out, or you use a round brush in your crown to get volume, stop! You're encouraging the cowlick to pop up. Try this instead. You already know what I'm gonna say, right? You know. Wet it down. So I'm gonna take the area all around this cowlick, like a little circle around it. Then we have a few options here. You can use a round brush. However, you need to come at your section from the top. So I'm going to take that part in front of the cowlick and I'm going to take the top portion of the cowlick that's popping up. I'm going to pull down on it first and I'm going to aim my blow dryer down so that when I blow dry the roots, I'm not encouraging any popping up at all. If it's still not working for you when you use your round brush, or you can't handle doing that with your round brush because your habit is to always go from the underneath, switch to a different tool. You can use a comb. You can use a paddle brush. You can use the air wrap attachment. That is a flat brush. So now that we've gone over all the options, let's do this. I'm actually going to use my paddle brush. That's my tool of choice. If you would like to choose something else and see a video on one of the other options, please let me know. So, with my roots of my cowlick nice and wet, I'm gathering it. My cowlick lives in there. See it? It's in there, in the middle of this section. Oh yeah, there she is. And... I want to make sure I gather all the hair together. So, gather it, pull down to the side, across and down. Low dry on low, airflow, high heat. Let's go. Regather. Pull it to the other side. But still down. And again, back to the other side. I just split that that circle in half basically I'm gonna take my paddle brush again and now I'm gonna come straight down on the section and then the last thing I'm gonna finish with is to come from the underneath but I'm gonna keep my tension on it and keep it low and pull it all down straight. Blow dryer on low airflow, high heat again. Gather your section. Cowlick is right here. We're 
together. Keep tension. I come straight back again. Now I'm gonna gather the two sections together underneath. Marry my two sections and still in the same direction back with tension. And check out the cow neck. Mm -hmm. What cow leg? Once you have your cowlick blow dried and everything is hidden and you want to lock it in place so it stays like that all day and doesn't separate again as you go out, go on, go about your day, go about your day, um, <laughs> you want to take a little scoop section around the cowlick again. It doesn't have to be big, but you want to incorporate the entire cowlick. You want to keep it not lifted too high. Insert your comb, pack it down at the root again. Just to keep everything together. And then just smooth out the top. Mm -hmm. Finish with a little hairspray. And now she won't move for the rest of the day. I hope that this helps you control the calyx in your crown next time you're styling your hair. Thank you so much for watching. And if you found any of these tips helpful, please like and subscribe.